with a potential government shutdown less than two weeks away, congressional leaders and the White House will meet this week to discuss ways to end an impasse over the legal status of young immigrants, which has become a primary obstacle to a spending deal. Over the weekend, President Trump reiterated his campaign pledge to build a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border, warning that any plan to address the fate of immigrant dreamers won't happen without it. Democrats once again balked at such demands, but the party is split over whether to force a government shutdown to get its way. A bipartisan meeting on immigration policy at the White House on Tuesday is designed to bring the sides together. If Trump and lawmakers can strike an immigration deal, negotiators on both sides think that other issues, including how to fund a children's health insurance program and a roughly $80 billion package to pay for disaster relief, could be resolved. Ahead of the meeting, the Trump administration released to lawmakers a request to pay $18 billion over 10 years for a mix of walls, fencing, and other security technology. GOP lawmakers have said they were waiting for the plan to know the parameters of talks with Democrats. Instead of the saber-rattling, let's get in a room and figure out reasonable, sound policy for securing the border, helping dreamers. And solving this problem for the first time in two decades, Zen. Tom Tillis, RNC, a lead GOP immigration negotiator, told Fox News Channel on Sunday. But Sen Bernie Sanders, I Vermont, who voted against the temporary spending plan in December, characterized the looming shutdown as an opportunity for Democrats ahead of the 2018 midterm elections. I believe that if we can increase voter turnout by 5% from 2014, Democrats will regain the House and Senate. But you cannot do that unless ordinary people believe you are fighting for them, Sanders said in an interview. If it's more tax breaks for billionaires and huge increases in military spending, you have a lot of working people and young people who will say, it doesn't make a difference. Why should I be involved? A giant symbol, in fight over Trump's wall, Democrats who once supported a border barrier now oppose it. Republicans control Congress but Democrats hold significant leverage over spending talks. In the House, Hardliners on the right have regularly voted against recent spending bills, requiring GOP leaders to rely on at least some Democratic votes to pass. In the Senate, spending bills require at least 60 votes to avoid procedural hurdles, and Republicans only hold 51 seats. Sen. Richard J. Durbin of Illinois, a lead Democratic negotiator on immigration, called Trump's detailed request outrageous and said he would continue working instead with Republicans who understand what is at stake in hopes of striking a bipartisan deal. Progressives such as Rep. Adriano Espaillat, DNY, whose Harlem area district is home to more than 2,000 constituents protected by the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program, known as DACA said he will continue voting against GOP spending plans that don't include protections. Over the holiday recess, he said DACA was the issue I heard about the most when I'm walking in my district.